Hello everyone, Mikey Dare Panzerator here, and today in this replay, I'm in the Musashi, and uh, you got Victim Raid in a Binum. So uh, all tier nine game, rocking this uh, credit printing Gamescom camo. Got a Isoruku Yamamoto as my captain of the Musashi, and we've got an epicenter game on this uh, ice island, Islands of Ice. Almost got the name right. Just like I'm almost going to have a good game today. No, of course, the, there's something worth seeing here. Victim is in Benham, which is like the torpedo dispenser. Just vomits torpedoes all game long. So, what are we going to look at? So, they have um, a Kronstadt, which has radar. Dimitri, which has radar. Alaska has radar. Other Alaska has radar. And, uh, yeah, so all their cruisers have radar. And being a good battleship captain... I, I, I'm keeping my destroyers in mind, so obviously the Alaskas are someone that we might want to take out. So the Musashi is um, an interesting ship in my my repertoire, my uh, my lineup. So, like for the longest time I've had the Musashi, I don't know how long I've had it, but up until recently. <laughs> uh, the um the musashi like i kind of struggled with it but recently and you'll see this i have a couple replays that should be coming out within the net sa within the same couple of weeks or days or whatnot but um yeah the uh musashi is actually playing a lot better for me so there we go we got a georgia but we're not going to shoot him yet i mean we could launch at max range launch our shells that just a weird way to say it, but... No, I, I found myself in battleships just... Unless it's a perfect broadside shot and I'm pretty sure I can hit him. I'm not going to shoot. Like, a nose on Georgia that I'm probably not going to hit. And if I do hit, I'm probably not going to hurt. I'll hold my fire. Maintain my stealth for uh, a little while at the very least. And uh, keep sailing with Victim. Provide him some, uh, some large cover and help our teammates going on this left side of the map. Now that Freddy, broadside, but too far away. A little more concerned with John, with Johnny Boy here, but uh, Cronny Boy, the Kronstadt is someone we might be interested in shooting. So there we go, open fire, beautiful tracers, having my awesome captain. And uh, well, we can pin most things through the bow and 9700 for a pot shot opening salvo is not too bad now I know my enemy I know the Johnny boy and his his ugly ways he he's gonna want to kill me so I'm like nope let's angle away and you know being at a very bad angle um I'm not practicing bad angling I'm not sailing at in a bad way I'm just practicing the oldest of naval traditions of crossing the T and look at that I mean another salvo of 10,000 just the Musashi's hitting better for me now, and uh, you can see Victim's Torpedo Soup is also getting in its licks, which is awesome. Mogador, if only he could have been there a few seconds earlier, he would have died by a torpedo. And uh, having destroyers die is definitely on my priority list, because uh, I don't like getting torpedoed. So yeah, I'm still shooting Johnny Boy. People are still aiming at me, but I, I'm far enough away. I think I'm okay. I mean, I'm I'm verging on the the danger of you know dereliction of duty, not really being where I need to be. And now I've got a little bit of target ADD. I don't know who to shoot at because Johnny Boy is uh, he's kind of hiding. So we decide to shoot at Freddy. Freddy's uh, going in reverse. Everyone's scared of the the Panzer Elite in this game. That that's mostly victim. He, he's he's a good player. I, I'm just the uh, I'm just a spokesperson for the clan, apparently. Uh, by the way, all of you should join our clan if you play on the North American server. If you don't play on the North American server, you play on a crap server. North America is the best server. Anyhow, Crony Boy, I'm gonna try and shoot at him and uh, keep doing damage. Don't want to hang back for too long and uh, eh, probably a little a little too far back and. Yeah, not bad, not great. One shell did a decent amount of damage. But we uh, have a little bit of a cluster 
here on this side. They're capturing like two of the zones. And that Azuma was sailing very slow. But nope. We see Freddy. And uh, now we see Johnny Boy. And uh, would you look at that? I don't is I don't know why he's talking about his bairn, but this Johnny Boy needs a little bit of uh, Nippon Steel to brighten his day. And uh, again, we're, we're death by a thousand cups, probably cuts probably. Uh, the Izumo is complimenting Victim Raid on his torpedoes, which are literally just everywhere. I mean, the Benham truly vomits out torpedoes. You definitely can. And I know a lot of good players who do this in their Benham. The amount of time it... So you have torpedo tubes on each side, right? You have four batteries of... La or four launchers, each with however many tubes. I think they're quintuples, so five tubes. And there's two on each side, and you can only shoot on your side. And they take a minute to reload. So that means you can fire and then turn around which takes about 30 seconds and fire and by the time you're back to where you were your tubes are reloaded so you can basically go and do a giant donut and launch torpedoes every 30 seconds which is just amazingly hilarious and that's exactly what victim rates is doing but you need to you play to win the game i mean the enemy is going to win in under two minutes if we don't capture zones or do something about that so victim's going in i'm going in johnny boy's uh Johnny Boy's shooting at me, but we'll take our licks to try and win the game. And uh, look at those torpedoes. They're not going to hurt us. I mean, look at that grouping. Look at that dead Johnny Boy. I mean, jean -Bas. Yeah, Azumo absolutely shellacked me there, though. That was not good. Um, but, like I said, I'm not in this matter of seconds. I'm not exactly concerned for my own safety as much as I am, like, we got to win the freaking game. So, as the, the legendary, her, firm for Herm, Herm Edwards said, you play to win the game. Right? Right. Yeah, I was that. I'm all of a sudden doubting my sports quoting, but that's fine. Freddy's secondaries are on me, so we need to get the hell out of here. And, uh, like I said, I'm just moving in to try and sink people. I'm trying to play the objective. The Ibuki killed the Yagumo, and uh, yeah, enough fiddle farting around on the edge of the map. It's epicenter. We gotta control the middle. So, what better way to do that than to sail like one of the biggest battleships ever? Nice sits, Alaska, and just absolutely murdering everyone. Now we are on fire, and our health. We've seen better days, but we're gonna get some heals. We have a lot of heals left, and uh, if those. If that damage is mostly from fires, which it appears to be, we can certainly, certainly repair most of it. Now, Alaska turning around and dodging most of my shells. Come on, man, really? That's not cool. You showed me your sit and you're not going to let me fin it? Like, finish you off? Like, unbelievable. Ah, these, these crazy ships. Now, that Alaska looks prime for a panzer kill over there. So we're going to uh, make sure that it doesn't get the full benefit from its heal. That Missouri is pretty close, but um, Missouri's not shooting him enough. And that that's just great. I mean, unbelievable. Didn't die, but that's fine. Again, we're playing to win the game. And we're, we're getting our points. We're getting our points back slowly but surely. And we are... Well, there's a Fry's Land, so uh, he should probably die. But Freddy just killed the Mogador. And now that the Riga is going into the middle of the cap, he is uh, stopping them from gaining points. So they aren't necessarily going to win. That Kronstadt is going to go forward. I saw that coming. I should have aimed further forward. Hopefully I can get some hits on the tail. No. No. The game hates me. Uh, like, it's just... It's very frustrating when that happens. Leave a comment below. If that's ever happened to you where ships going in reverse, you fire and then they immediately stop and start going forward. Oh, that's frustrating. Watching it now, I can clearly see he was slowing down and all that, but but in the heat of the moment in the, you know, the middle of the battle, it's not obvious. It's not obvious at all. And I mean, look, Crony Boy is on red health. He definitely should die. 
and all of my Musashi luck is going away. I mean, I got up to 100,000 damage, but we got a lot more to do. We got to win the game here. So, firing at Alaska that's nose on. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to fire at the mostly broadside Georgia because he can make our lives miserable because his guns are as big as our guns. And uh, he's got secondaries. I mean, that, that did not feel good. This, this hurts. All of this is not good. So, I um, want to avoid the secondary ships as much as possible. Missouri finished off Dimitri, but Missouri has uh, is going to lay down his life for his team. But uh, the good news is we're, cap we're capturing a zone in a battleship in an epicenter game. Get on my level. Great stuff here. I'm worried about all of them, but if we just hold our course for a little bit longer, just a little bit longer, we're going to be able to murder Crony Boy as soon as we see him. So there's Crony Boy. Just because I said that, I'm probably going to miss him, huh? Or no, Dimitri's going to steal the kill. One of the two. Anyhow. Yeah, he freaking survived. Like, <sighs> Russian bias. Am I right? Right. But uh, luckily, we, we we're reloading. Uh, Dimitri's going to steal our kill. That's, that's just great. Nope. Hopefully not yet. Hopefully we can finish off Crony Boy in just a second. And yes, I see the Georgia right next to me. I I'm aware of the imminent danger to my ship. There's a nice Russian sit. And there's a dead Crony Boy. Now we got a Georgia right here. And we're like 90 degrees to him. That is the worst thing that could have happened other than us dying. So um, there goes our health. We can't exactly heal it because, you know, Citadel damage isn't exactly healable but we're gonna aim for his turrets because like we need to jam his turrets if we're gonna survive maybe go for a ram here just angle ah oh, gotta love that ricochet it almost makes up for getting absolutely shellac not really but yeah we're in a tight spot i'm low health dimitri's low health like this game could go either way certainly go either way but look at this georgia look at what he's doing he's turning I mean, look at that damage. 20,000 damage there. We got a freeze land on, like, no health who totally needs to die. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just staying angled. I'm slowing down. I'm just going to... Oh, look at that. I've ricocheted so many shells. Look at that. Main guns. He got stuck. He got stuck. Oh, three seconds. This is going to be fun. He knows what's about to happen to him. Goodbye, Georgia. Georgia on my mind. So, four ships to two. Health, two healthy ships, one healthy ship, two dead ships, one dead ship. Dead is relatively, relatively speaking. I am currently stuck on this island. I don't know why I'm aiming this way. Maybe I'm not aiming this way. But look at that. We're getting freeze land. So, uh, this ain't good. Because if we get set on fire, we can't put it out for 50 seconds. This is very bad. This is very, very bad, ladies and gentlemen. But, um, we've got the classic replays not showing guns facing the correct direction. We're firing pot shots into the... That is nowhere near where I was aiming. That is nowhere near where I was aiming. The shells might as well have come out side of... Like, I might as well have shot the mountain and had the shells ricochet over there. That would have been just as likely to stop it. Now... Their Alaska's dead, so we're going to win the game, but I'm burning so quickly, I can't do anything, and I'm dead. So this is bad. This is very bad, uh, but we, we will win, hopefully. Victim is, like, untouched, which is amazing. I mean, good job for him, considering the amount of radar cruisers in the game, but he's shooting the torpedoes, and that frees land, as soon as he's spotted, he's going to die. He just... I ran into the island fighting the Georgia. I honestly didn't expect to survive the Georgia. One radar left, I mean, not really. But Friesland, this isn't good. Understatement of the century. He's toast. There, he's got to lose, obviously. He's a Friesland. He, he only has guns, and he can't outgun everything. And I, I decided to be a good sport and tell him, good game. At least you got me. Congratulations. You fried the Musashi. That's just wonderful. 
Now, Victim's Torpedo just went through it, and uh, I am, you know, distracting the Freeze Land with my calm, calming, congratulatory sportsman-like stuff, and Victim doesn't even get a shoot at him. Freeze Land's dead. So, this game went quite, quite well. What uh, do we have in terms of the scoreboard? 171,000 damage, 66 target hits, 3 kills, 2 citadels. Sits are best in pairs, as uh, we all know. And uh, teamwork. Let's look at the team score. I came in first. Victim came in second. We run this bitch. Uh, damage, pretty much all AP. I guess our secondaries did some stuff. Our secondary set fires. Must have been to that Georgia. May I think Johnny Boy, Georgie Boy, and Cronny Boy. So, uh, there we go. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell, join the Discord. Do all those things. Not because they're easy. Well, they are very easy. The JFK quote will not come in handy right here. If you appreciate this, I already said leave a like. So do that. Hope to see you in the next one. Until then, it's Mikey Derpanzinator signing out. See you, nerds.